Welcome back. So let's take a quick look at the metrics that's collected in Sonar Cube. If you look at the dashboard for the project, you do see that it looks at the different sections that looks at the code quality. So that includes the bugs, the code smells, the coverage, and the duplication. And as the builds go through different phases, you will see that if anyone has introduced new bugs or new leaks since the last build. So this has a lot of rules that looks at the right way of doing the code. And it looks at different categories within the code and those rules are built into Sonar. And this Sonar cube could be applied to different languages as well. So if you look at the issues, right now there's no issues. And it shows that we are have a very good quality with the code that we have written. And it looks at the code, the lines of code, the code smells, and the coverage. And the activity. So over a period of time, how many builds have gotten here? what has, whether we have added bugs, um, actually squash bugs, or added any other code issues. You can head over to the administration and do additional tasks within Sonar Cube. So you can set up multiple projects within the Sonar Cube, and as an organization, you can look at the results for the different projects that's ongoing. So now that we have completed this, let's go ahead and move to the next section where we'll close the release branch and get it merged to master and to develop.